Hey, good morning. Welcome to Stage Door Theater Podcast, hosted by some regular guys. And we are on location at Ohio Northern University. This is a very special, very exciting little podcast for us that we're doing here. We're with Brian Phillips. He is the technical director here. And he is going to not only give us a little tour so we can see everything that Ohio Northern does in their uh, behind-the-scenes uh, part of the, their program, but he's also going to tell us everything about their behind-the-scenes program. Oh, yes. Every, everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. So ho- hopefully uh, you've got a large memory. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's why it's a recording. Recorder, they can just rewind. Right? <laughs> yeah. And we are just an hour down the road from Toledo. So yeah. So yeah. We're... Definitely still Northwest Ohio for yes. sure. Yes. Yeah. We already did our show about uh, people who want to be, you know, going off to college and talking about what they want to do in college. But we wanted to talk about people that aren't going to be on stage that have a whole nother career path for right. them to follow. And that's where, you know, Brian was awesome and he reached out and that's what we want to talk about. So what does Ohio Northern have to offer down here? So uh, we have a couple of, we have a lot to offer, I would say. Um, so obviously we have, you know, the musical theater major, which is the BFA in musical theater. We also have a BA in theater, which is a general theater, bachelor of arts program. But we also offer our BFA in international theater production, which is our technical theater That's degree. what we want to talk about right, right So that's there. what I think you guys were uh, most interested in. It uh, already sounds cool, international. Yeah, uh, yeah and it's good. Like, um, And that encompasses everything. It's uh, Sometimes I don't think people are 100% what, we're, what we mean when we say that, uh, but I think it's, it's a really good program because uh, if you just think about the world in general, it's becoming ah. a much more global culture, right? Uh, so being able to talk and interact and, you know, have conversations uh, and be exposed to cultures from all over the world is, I think, super important. Um, but that is, like I said, our technical theater degree. So um, the way the program is set up is that you major in that, and then you can kind of specialize through either your production work or and somewhat to the, your coursework in a specific area. So uh, if you were more interested in, let's say, technical direction, right, you would get uh, you would still have the core classes that you would take for the general degree, uh, but then there are some other specialized classes that would apply to that. And then through your production assignment, so when working on shows, uh, we would then give you tasks that were in line with that desire or that that learning interest. I already love your energy. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at yes. this guy. He yes. lo- he's very passionate about what he's uh-huh. doing here. Well, heck, well, I always say if it's not fun, why do it? Yeah, so, do you? Yeah, particularly okay. theater, it's not... It's not a cash cow, that's for sure. Yeah, and you live in Perrysburg, correct? I do live in Perrysburg. So you must really love it because you have to drive back and forth every single day. I do. I I mean, I do really enjoy the program. I'm an alum of Mm, Northern, so uh, yeah, I graduated a long time ago. (laughs) And we're here on a Sunday, too, so you come even on non- Yeah, well, we're in tech right now, so um, we are in the process of finishing up loading in and doing some notes for our spring production of Adam's Family. Adam's Family. Um, So- uh, that's why I'm here. Well, I'm here a lot of weekends because of that. But um, so I'm an alumni of Ohio Northern. I grew up in Perrysburg, so that's kind of how I ended up back here. Did you come here as a uh, t- what's the the word international, international theater? Te- well, no, uh, because that didn't agree didn't exist when I was oh. a student, right? Uh, so when I was a student, it was, you are old. No, no, <laughs> just kidding. You know, you know, no kidding, right? There, there's been just a lot of changes in the past, you know, yeah. very many. But you know, I, when I graduated in like '97, oh yeah. So that you know, the, the world is very different. From Actually, what it you is look that. great if you oh, graduated '97 from thanks. college. Wow, um, I look terrible next to you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so it's it's changed a lot, but I, I focused on you know technical theater when I was here. Uh, for sure, and okay. then I went okay. off to grad school. I have a school. question yeah, already. Then I have a question. Right? Okay, so I'm a high school student, right? And I'm really not sure where I should be going or what I should what I should be doing. What does Ohio Northern uh, require? What, what what should a student who's possibly thinking of doing technical? International technical. Oh my gosh, I'm going to screw this up. What's it called again? International theater production. International ITP the, for ITP. Short. If they want to be international theater production major at Ohio Northern, what is Ohio Northern looking for in a high school senior? What uh, what we're probably most looking for is the interest and the drive, okay. right? Like we're we are not a conservatory, right? Uh, okay. We kind of have a conservatory approach. But we, you don't have to know exactly what you want to do when you come to Northern, right? And that's one of the strengths of our program is that you have the opportunity to experiment and try all different aspects. So if you want to you, – like very often students come in, they're like, oh, I want to be a stage manager because like stage manager is like the one job that 
that they every, know it that exists. they know right yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and not that they don't end up being stage managers but they're like oh I didn't know that like no that's design a typical a, high school thing is you only are exposed to so many right? things you only I'm know doing, what you know yeah, right yeah yeah so I didn't know that like lighting design was a career path Sweet. I didn't know that like wigs and makeup was a career path. very cool I didn't know that technical direction was a career that path. one's okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> I like it <laughs> Um, so, uh, that's one of the good things about our program. Cause I think it's really hard. Like I couldn't imagine being in that position and being like, I am confident 100% that lighting design is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I'm going to invest multiple thousands of dollars in that. Yeah. So, uh, there are some people that are that focused and know that's what they want. And great. I would not have been that student. Yeah. So I think Northern's really good at seeing, uh, the passion and the drive to work in theater and work in live production. Uh, and entertainment in general, it's not just theater, and saying, okay, we see that, and that's what we're interested, and then we will help you find the path. I always say, I always like to use the roadmap analogy, right? You know, we all know where we're going, and, you know, if we're I, if we're going to, let's say, go from here to Toledo, you may go straight up 75, I may take up 235 all the way up to the river and hang a right. Mm -hmm. We're still going to get back to Toledo, but all of our own paths are different, right? So I think it's our job as a university, as an educator, to help the students find the right path for them to get to their goal. Uh, a one, you know, solution fits all is is not a good solution. So I think we're really good at helping the students find what they're passionate about and then helping them create a curriculum. So they just and need to have your energy, first of all. That's the one thing they need to have is energy and excitement for yeah. theater or for picking up a screwdriver. Which one? Both. Like I think oh. well and I think either, right? The number of students that I get that have, you know, never picked up a screwdriver or a drill is kind of astounding to me. Really? So, yeah. And yet they're like, still coming in and want well, to do uh, theater tech. Well they want to come in and do theater, right? And so they may have uh, been a musical theater major, oh, okay. right? And they started and they come in and they're like, oh, I actually, I took the stagecraft class and I really like making things, right? Oh, okay, and wait, wait, wait. And I'm going to stop you here. So there's a stagecraft. So so you have people that are taking certain classes that are Correct. requirements of the BA program and the BFA program? Correct. So like gotcha. there are some programs, I, we teach like uh, in order to have a a well rounded uh, theater artisan, right? You need mm -hmm. to know a little bit of everything, right? and that's very common in lots of yeah, programs yeah, out there. Just so uh, that you you know you can communicate, right? Because theater is a collaborative art form. Yeah. So even if you just take the core class in order to get the vocabulary, so that way you can mm, talk coherently. Point. Like if you don't understand the language of yeah. the directors or the actors as a technical director, it makes it very hard to communicate with them. And, and likewise, versa, if yeah. you don't understand, the director doesn't understand, you know, the, the terminology on the very base level of what the technical director is saying, it makes it really hard to collaborate. Yeah. So having a good foundation and all those base skills for everyone. If you're a BFA major and a stage manager gives you a direction and, and uses words you don't understand. Right. You guys got to understand each other. Right. right? So okay. I think that's really important to have that, you know, that foundation, that core vocabulary. Uh, and that's what basically the 100 level classes should do. Okay. So like your freshman level classes, like your intro to lighting, your intro or fundamentals of stagecraft, your introduction to acting or your, you know, those, those base level classes are very often just there to get everybody on the same page. And so there are some people that are, are coming in as a BA major or BFA major that are maybe sometimes experiencing this for the first time. Correct. And that's when for you're saying sure. you're you're astounded by some of those people who've never picked up right, an you know, imp some, impact drill before. Yeah, yeah. So somebody's like, oh, I, I always did, um, you know, lighting focus, and I've never built anything before. Yeah. Or, you know, or or I've I've always, I always helped on the costume queue, and I'm really good at sewing, yeah. but I've never hung a light before. Right? I'm really good at tapping. Now you want me to hold a saw. Right, that exactly. Kind of, yeah. Get your hands dirty there, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so so it, you're, you're describing my son. Right. Do you remember <laughs> you, Tyler? Yeah, no, I don't, my yeah, son Tyler, Tyler yeah. came here. Uh, he was a BFA guy and never picked up a drill until he met you. I bet. Yeah. Really? So, what, what kind how, of dad you, are you? Do you, you remember, remember how? A drill? <laughs> do you remember how he progressed here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty typical, I would say. Like they come in, they take the stagecraft class, or they get a work study job. So that's the other thing. Yes. Like we have a lot of 
people that work for me yes. hmm. building the sets and things. And it's not just theater majors. So we've got like engineers and pharmacists and business majors. Ah, pharmacists? That, yeah. Wow, okay. They did a work, work study with the, you. Yep, so they do work study and you start them off. You're like, okay, I've never done anything. So we're like, okay, well, here's a drill. You know, start with this project. And as they complete that project, you're like, okay, we're going to step you up to the next level and we're going to give you a more complex project. And then you start to see what they're interested in, right? Oh, okay, you're, you, you're really interested in the lighting, so we might help you do that. Or, hey, you're really interested in the computer side of yeah. that, so why don't you? We have the CNC router over here, so why don't we try showing you that and learning about that technology? Oh my gosh! So you're so, using. See now, yeah. you're starting to use terminology that I'm unfamiliar <laughs> with now. So, so again, so you have a high school student who comes in, in, and maybe they they don't really even know what they want to do. But is are you not looking for somebody who might want to actually be in tech? That maybe they do yeah, stuff? those are great too, yeah. right? Um, do they need to have a portfolio? They like, do have to have a portfolio, and they everybody has to interview to get in the BFA. Uh, oh, but okay. it's not necessarily – it's more – So if you come in as an incoming freshman, you're going to have an interview process. Right, you're going to interview and talk with us, right? Because really, it's a, it's a sizable investment, right? Yeah. Uh, and theater is a large On time On both commitment. ends, too. It's yeah. an investment for the university to have the students, yep. too. You know? And uh, so it's really important that you get along with the people. And like as a student mm-hmm. looking at programs – you got to say, hey, yeah, this is somebody I think I can learn from for the next four years. I think you'd be fun to work with. Yeah. Honestly, I don't. I think well, I like thanks. your personality yeah. already. <laughs> um, so, but that's like well, honestly, that's I would say you know seventy five percent of it, right? Is uh, like if you if your personalities are at odds with one another. You're not going to be in a good environment. To oh my learn. gosh! I work with Ron and Tom every day, and here we are making podcasts together after hours, unpaid. So you know, this, if I didn't like these guys, this yeah. uh, right. going to happen. So we, you do, you're right. It's, so it's that's a big that's deal. really important. And then, like you know, there are some people that are really, really driven, and they're like, "This is exactly what I want to do. Uh-huh. I want to do a technical direction," and that's great. We have a lot to offer those people, but there's also programs out there that are much more focused on that aspect of theater which they tend to gravitate to, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're like, okay, well, I know this is exactly my path. So they tend to gravitate to those more specific programs. Cool. Uh, One of the cool things about our program is we let you double major. Uh, And so that's, uh, I think, really popular with the parents as well. (laughs) Uh, So that way you can major in technical theater and also have a major in communications or PR or whatever. Uh, So that way, again... I'm a, I'm a firm believer in the more you know about everything, the better you are as a theater artisan, right? Because you're trying to tell stories uh, that relate to all of all everyone, right? So the more you know about everything, the better you can tell those stories. Could you be a BFA performing major and yep. also be a, a – Yep. Wow. We have dual uh, – we have definitely have dual uh, BFA musical theater and um, – so that person is covering all their grounds. Then. Yep. So they can either so be on the stage. They're super busy the stage. though. It's not easy. Oh yeah, right. If you my double major, yeah. I mean, so my son Tyler came in here BFA singing and dancing. Uh, worked with you. Mm-hmm. Now he's a technical director in a big theater. Uh, lighting, sound, stage directing. He's a Brian. He's a Brian. No, no he does more than me. I only I don't like do and, this. I don't do the acting and, or, the, and, or the directing. Uh, he said. Uh, on our podcast, that he wished he'd a double majored in this. Oh, that, did he? Did he yeah, say that? He said, oh, "Okay, I should have done the double major in the." Uh, I remember Maddie saying theater. something about that, uh, I didn't... I, and I'm sure I probably tried to convince him. Yes, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and because <and, laughs> uh, he said that's where the money is. Where that's, the money? He is. said, "I have a house with a mailbox." Yeah, because right. I'm in technical directing instead of acting. Yeah, yeah. It's Traveling a. Around. I mean, there's definitely. It's just. It tends to be more consistent work. Yes. I think. The, the performers tend to be a much more nomadic lifestyle, yeah. uh, <laughs> whereas with technical uh, positions, you, it's easier to find a, like a stationary, Ron consistent Ron and I have location. talked about this, too, like the lifestyle of a performer. You know, it's great that people want to do it, but at the same time, it's like, man, could you imagine having uh, you know audition or actually like reapply to go for an interview process every year every year yeah. every year interview if, for your job again yeah. if that, i don't know right? if it i could be, be every six months, six months yeah. Right? Yeah. i'm pretty sure i would not get rehired but because, so. <laughs> because of you my son is married has a kid a uh, mailbox and a job and wow well, it's because of brian well, parents, i would say it's because <laughs> of tyler and his, uh, tyler and, Maddie uh, and he's pretty motivated tyler but and Maddie, uh, yeah. i'm glad that i could help him along yes. the way if I you did. at least he did an introduction he did a summer work study with you yep. and i have pictures of him in a 
way down in a pit oh. with a mask on. <laughs> is that how you treat your your workshop? Work Only study? when they're surly. A lighting <laughs> pit or something. In a yeah, pit. There, it's uh, up in the. We'll walk past it. Okay. There, no, there's like, a, uh, a. It's an air plenum for the system. It puts that, the lotion on. Is that what you yeah, did to them? I, no, no. Uh, but. Uh, the students have a tendency to drop things down. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we every once in a while we go clean it all out. You actually yeah. have a. It, it's like you have to get lowered down with OSHA standards. And yeah, stuff that's like funny. That. It's, it's a, yeah. That is funny. Okay, so you we're going to get a nice tour here of everything okay. you're going to do. So there's going to be a video portion of this podcast. Sweet. So anybody listening, make sure you are also on Spotify so you can see the video portion of everything that's going to go on. But I am curious though. You said they get to specialize in certain things. Can do you have a list of what they can specialize? Uh, in? We don't necessarily have. It's not necessarily that formalized. Oh, um, as far as that. Uh, but I mean, you know, there's the general areas like oh, okay, they tend to be more into costuming. Uh, they tend to be more into lighting. They tend to be into more into stage management. They tend to be more into technical direction or sound. Uh, and then within that, like. You because be- I asked that question because it's the same as anything else. We don't know what we don't know. Right. So so how would a person know that you have something here that they could do? Because I didn't know that there was like wigs. Right. Like you could be a wig major. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know. that You, you can't necessarily <laughs> major in wigs and makeup. There's definitely schools that you can do that. Oh, in, okay. Right. Uh, that, But through your coursework and the work you're doing on productions, you can focus on like, you know, I want to build, help build the wigs for this show or I want to be the makeup designer. Okay. For that show, or mm-hmm. oh, uh, you know, for like Beauty and the Beast, there's like prosthetics for the okay. beast, right? So you can help with that or focus on those things. Gotcha. So it's not necessarily gonna say, hey, I did wigs on my diploma, but through your coursework and through uh, the work you do on shows, we can. You know, make sure you get more opportunity to do that kind of work. Gotcha. But your your degree will be international theater, theater production. Tech. Yep. Yeah. And, oh, international theater production. ITP. ITP. And then uh, and then on it uh, underneath it could say wigs. Right. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's what your resume is for, right? Nobody yeah. actually looks at the diploma. Yeah. So right? they, yeah, that's true too. So they say, hey, you're an international theater production major. You got that. But then you can. Do you know like so? There's lighting, scenic design. What is uh, any? Can you rattle some off? I oh mean? yeah. I mean, as, like you can like so. So if we if you even look at those programs, so if, let's say lighting, for example, like in lighting, you're gonna have a lighting designer, mm-hmm. you're gonna have an electrician, uh, oh. like a stage electrician who's more responsible for the setup and the configuration of all the lighting, as opposed to the designer who says, okay, hey, um, these are where I'm gonna light put the lights mm-hmm. at, and then I'm gonna go through and program those lights. Then there are the electricians that like take those. Uh, drawings and information. We'll put the lights up in those positions, run the cabling, huh. make sure oh. all of the uh, communication, you know, like, so DMX is a very common lighting protocol. So making sure all the things are communicating for the moving lights. And you said programming, that's right. computers. Right. So there's like, so then there's lighting programmers, right? So you can get a job as just being the programmer. What? So you are like, I like to say the human uh, interface between the lighting designer and the computer and the, the programmer, the board, right? Okay. So like the designer will be like, hey, I need these things at this level. And then you go ahead and type it in. So they have those programs for traditional lights. So the ones that we basically just say come on and off. And then there's even moving light programmers. like So people that specialize in you know programming lighting fixtures that are – they're programmable that they move. They'll pan, tilt, zoom, uh, change colors. Uh, <laughs> and then there's programmers that deal with video walls. So video is a whole other thing. Sheesh. So even within that one So just in lighting, that's five things like, just in lighting. Yeah, and I could keep going on, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. The show there, is, just, is not long the enough. More, right. The we more, yeah. Like, okay. So the more you, and again, the, you know, it's, you know, the more you start scratching that surface, the oh more you gosh. are feeling. And then- you know, you learn more and more about this. This is exciting. Uh, Like I said, this is exciting because if you're somebody who's interested in theater and maybe not wanting to be on the stage or maybe not have the ability to be on the stage or whatever, you know, then you have, you can still stay in the industry. Yeah. There's there's tons of jobs and like technical direction. So, you know, if you want to do scenery, right? So there's the scenic designer that is, uh, if I'm going to, when I typically explain it to people, I may use the analogy, the scenic designer is like the architect, right? So they come up with the ideas. They work with the director who would kind of be like the homeowner. Mm-hmm. And they're going to come up with what they kind of want to see. The, the the scenic designer will take that information, you know, internalize it, create their vision for it. And then my job as the technical director is to take those drawings and to make them become reality, right? So I take those two-dimensional drawings and make them real 3D objects, Hmm. right? So I'm kind of like the general contractor on a level for the theater. So we take those, I say, okay, we want these to do all these things. 
uh, and then I go ahead and figure out how we're going to implement that. Like the Adams Family set? You yeah. Yeah. So figure well, something out. Well, so that's a little different. So that's actually, and we'll look at that. This is a little atypical for what we do because we actually rented the set for this. Oh, okay. Um, and normally we build everything in house, uh, but we decided for this production to again get the opportunity to uh, have a more well-rounded education. Uh, we hired in a props designer since there's so many oh, yeah, cool. different cool things to do with the Adams family. So we brought somebody that specializes in props. Uh, and we're having the students work a lot with that. Uh, so, so more that, exposure so to, to more, more opportunities different things. out yeah. there. Uh, in mm. addition to that, we also uh, were implementing stage automation. Oh. So there's a couple of pieces on there uh, that we are using state automation. There's a company, Creative Connors. We have a, a bunch of their gear uh, that we're using to control some stuff. So instead of focusing on building the scenery, per se, uh, we're focusing on the props and like stage automation. Yeah, that gives you a whole other so thing whole, to do instead of so spending all the time Something might fly on across. Yep, or and we could take a look at it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're gonna. Oh, we're um, gonna. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're, again, trying to... Uh, show the students that there's all these different things. If we just build platforms and we just build flats all the time, um, A, it's not super interesting, mm -hmm. uh, and B, they just don't have as many opportunities. You're opening their eyes to other opportunities. Right. That's and then the like, big thing. And then, like uh, like I said, we have a number of students that are from the engineering college that work for me. So, right, showing how really? that their skills uh, that they're learning in the engineering school can be applied to the entertainment field, right? right. So that way, hey, and then now we're getting, you can like also mechanical mine, Mechanical right? engineers and- Yep, mechanicals. Uh, we got electricals. We have a couple civil engineers that are, are students. Really? But, but these are these are not like, um, but you don't have to be those. You don't have to be an engineering nope. major and have to take all these super hard math classes to, to do what you guys are doing because you can come in as an ITP yep. and do it this way. And, th and then- I, I'm impressed. Do you I'm bring impressed. people in from like Broadway or oh, Chicago? Oh yeah. So like uh, the props designer um, is based out of New York. Uh, oh. We have a guest lighting designer. Um, they can Trey, study. I can't with, remember. They can study. I don't remember who he's from. I think maybe the West Coast. Matt Simpkins, who is the director, is based out of New York. He's an ONU alum. So we mm. we probably have like. 30 to 40 guest artists that we bring to campus each year through like uh, performance, directing, technical people, all sorts of, you know, yeah. through the every position we try to bring people so in. So maybe they Because we kind of realize we are in a cornfield, right? Yeah, right? And we can't take corn everybody field. to New York. You are in the coldest. But we can bring those people Coldest here. place in Ohio, if I remember. <laughs> you know, theater is a really small industry. I don't think people quite get how small it is. Uh, so like- the, when you have the opportunity to work with these people, that's starting to create your network. So you get out there and you're like, oh, oh, I could call that person. I'm going to be in town. Like even to this day when I travel, yeah. I can be like, oh, I know. A, oh, I know. So-and-so is in, you know, wherever I happen to be. And you can go look them up and, you know, there's you just you end up with this really huge network. Yeah, I think that I think what I like most about everything you said, which was a lot. And I love that you have a lot to say about this and your energy and excitement. Like I said, but I l think I love the most that there's a high school student out there who doesn't need to know everything and have this giant portfolio of things all together and basically just have their life decided as to what they, oh, I'm definitely going to be a technical director. I've been working on it since the seventh grade. Here's my, they don't have to do that. No, they I, can. They're, that's, they can, and there's nothing wrong They could have discovered it two months ago. Right. That this is maybe something that they enjoy. Maybe they just did their first high school show last fall and are like, Oh, I kind of like this. I didn't realize I'd like. You could have been. They could be the Ron and Toms of the high school world, who are like and Kyle. I'm, I'll throw myself in there of guys who are like didn't even know it existed. Yeah, totally. And like we even have that with you know college age students, yeah. right? Like we'll get people. Like so, what I didn't mention is you can also have in uh, a what is it? I forget the actual name, uh, but it's the design and production minor. Mm. So you don't even have to major in technical production, which may be new since Tyler okay uh, graduated. Students in other majors that don't want to do full on uh, a theater degree can also minor in technical theater and take those coursework, work on shows. Wow. Uh, and so take this their is maybe skills. your engineers, your yeah, mechanical so engineers, engineers or, or whomever who came really, over and worked like, a little bit. And or said, if oh, you I have like that. an English major that wants to be a drama teacher that has to ah. then be in charge of a theater at a high school somewhere, mm. they can take that minor and get those skills because ah. that's another problem, right? You get all these. High school, not that high school teachers are a problem, uh, but you get these people that get put in charge of these theater spaces oh, no, no, that don't time. have the training, and that can lead to some. That would have been my things, high school. Right? Would have been my high uh, school. So this is an opportunity for them to get some of those basic skills 
yeah. uh, to start opening up their eyes to like the things and awesome. Yeah, learning. my high school had one um, music choir teacher who did all elementary, yep. did <laughs> junior high, did high school. Was like, yep. hey, you're also in charge of the. <laughs> I, I don't know how much training this person had to be able to do all these things. So it would be nice if. Yep. She's like, I just wanted to be a music teacher. I don't right. know how this happened to me. <laughs> that's, that's pretty common. Like that's a that yeah. is a fairly common story. Yeah. Well, whew, that was I, I, awesome. Your your enthusiasm and passion, you probably can't wait for the next freshman class to get here so that you can influence them. And yeah, no, it's great. Um, yeah, I always joke, like, once they get super useful, they graduate and go away, <laughs> right? I'm like, okay, these are, oh, wait, no, oh, you're, right. oh, you're a Gone. senior, right? I'm going to start over. It's a building year, right? Yeah. Isn't that what they say for football teams? They it's do it, exactly. It's just like sports. Yeah, it's, it's a building, building uh, So, yeah, no, it's great, and it's great to see the progression and one of my favorite things is like when we have a guest artist come in and they're like, oh, I just was working with so-and-so and they're great. And they're like, oh, yeah, they're a sophomore. And they're like, what? They're a sophomore? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, nice. yeah, look, imagine them in you know, two and a half more years. Yeah. You know how great they're going to be. Success stories. I, I think there's a – is there a, a stage manager on Broadway for uh, yeah. Wicked? Uh, that sorry, was just, sorry, yeah, Yoko sorry. is an did, alum of the did program. Did you influence yep, her? Yeah, I worked with Sorry. She was one of – so I came here in, what, 20 Stage manager. So she was one of, uh, one of the first students I worked with. So she's a stage manager. For Wicked uh, on for Broadway. For Wicked on Broadway. Because yeah. of you – <laughs> but I don't know because of me. In Rod spite of me, maybe. Rod keeps wanting to giving you all the props. Yeah, yeah. There was, yeah. there was a whole. You just lot did a because of, of you moment for Wicked. That and, was nice. And, and for oh yeah, because, and for but because yeah. she knew you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I can't take right. credit for all of that. I maybe I may have had a little help, but there's a you lot just, of faculty you, yeah. that are just as vested as I am in making sure these students. You succeed, just you're so. one little grain of salt in her life. That yep. I'm sure yeah. she's thankful you were around to help her. At least Same with my son Tyler. Yep, Tyler. So take that one and little and Maddie. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I think. Uh, I think. Is there anything else you want to say I'm before exhausted. we go on a tour? Holy cow. Oh, I don't know. I I, I loved it. Talking. I loved all of this stuff. I, and I hopefully, like I said, somebody's listening to this program that is uh, this episode that's a high schooler they're and or sophomore parent, yeah, and, they're and, thinking. and can listen to this and be like, holy moly! I I think I like the energy. I liked everything that there's the possibilities that I can maybe do this. Yeah, and, and like you know, that. you can, like if any like, yeah. any of the listeners have questions, they can always reach out. They can find me on the Northern website. Like, okay. Oh, really, can we call it just Northern? Ohio can we Northern? be cool? Can we be cool and just call oh, it Northern, Northern also? No. I guess. And, uh, and, I guess. <laughs> so um, fo- folks in Toledo should come down here to see some shows. That would be yeah, another heck thing. Yeah, come down and see Adam's family. See everything yeah. you guys do. Well, I don't know if this will be on the air before. No, I it won't. Oh, <laughs> come down and see the next one after yeah. Adam's family. <laughs> Come uh, down and see any lineup. Of the you should check it out. Um, yeah, and then you'll see what you guys are doing technically here for all the shows. Yeah, no, and it's great. And I think the students do a wonderful job. Like you know, uh, I you know we just kind of guide them. We let them do all the work. So cool. Um, uh, they uh, they do a lot of remarkable work. They're all really smart, hardworking uh, students. So. All right. I think we're going to go on to the video portion of the thing right okay, now. Okay. So we're, uh, again, on Spotify. If you're listening to this on Apple, there is no video thing. So you got to go on Spotify and listen and go and watch the rest of the video portion of this. Otherwise, I guess goodbye. And <laughs> Well, thank you. Uh, for those of you who are departing, thanks for listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah thanks. For, and also, if you loved everything about this podcast, please go on to Apple and give us a review. <laughs> give us five stars, not you know lower than that. <clears throat> thank you, guys. Talk to you in a minute in the video portion. Bye.